So categories, as you might know them, are very, very important. In accounting language, we call it a chart of accounts. And, and that's where all of your different transactions get classified and accounted for. And ultimately, the, the categories, the names of those categories are what's going to be reported on your tax return. Now, normally there's standard categories like office, office supplies, uh, repairs and maintenance, rent, dues and subscriptions and, and stuff like that. If you have categories that are more specific to your industry, like let's say you're in publishing, maybe you, you're paying copywriters and artists. And so you would have some different categories, but it's extremely important that we have the right categories and the transactions in the right categories and that it, it makes sense. So when we get your, your information, what we're actually doing with it is number one, we're, we're taking your statements and reconciling. Now, what that means is that we're verifying that all the transactions have been accounted for. The second step is to, uh, take out any, any obvious personal expenses. If the, if our clients are still doing that, if they're commingling, because we don't want to take a, a business deduction for a personal expense. That's what gets people into trouble. Now, once we've identified the obvious expenses, there, there might be some left over that we're not sure of because we just didn't get a good description or, or whatever the reason. It was an ATM uh, withdrawal or deposit. We just need further explanation. In that case, what's going to happen is you'll get a spreadsheet from your bookkeeper and they'll ask you to categorize those transactions. If you can't figure it out, then we'll have to bring in uh, the forensic accountants. <laughs> but that's how it works. That's what categories are. Okay, over and out. Thank you.